Oh, I'm ashamed to admit it. Do you know who you are? No, I don't. Who do I remember? You are my mother. Really? That's who you are, my mother. Mickey, watch it. You know that. Oh, you're some guy. That's my buddy. Hey, you. You. Who, me? Yes, you, Mariaki. We're going to kill you, Mariaki. Kill you. Hey, you crazy idiots. My name's Miguel. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Today's Friday. And my name isn't Mariaki. Oh, why didn't we meet years ago? Well, you've been too young then. Uh, you're not going to disappear, are you? Don't stop. I asked you a question. I'm the wrong guy to get attached to, Mom. Why? I've told you why. Well, I'm not impressed. I wasn't trying to impress you. Let's just take it a day at a time. Okay. Today was a nice day. Tonight was a, a great party. Especially for Willard. What can you do about him? Well, I'll just bed him down in my place. He won't know the difference. Now, uh, tomorrow. What about tomorrow? How about a party for two of my place? Seven o'clock, okay? Okay. I hope Willard doesn't give you too much trouble. You'll be all right. What's the matter with you? You saw us once tonight in the car. You will see us again and again, and then you'll die. Good night, Mariocchi. Okay, punk, that's about enough. Enough of what? Mara. Were you expecting someone else? No. Go to sleep. Just call to say good night. Good night. Well, say you love me. I'll see you tomorrow, hon. I 
get my head on here. I've got double vision. Well, you're doing good if you can see it all. Disgusted? No. She's gone on you, boy. What about you? I'm a traveling man. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, I got plastered. It just sort of happens. It's happened a lot? Yeah. Why do you think that is? I'm a coward. Don't you remember? Drinking make you brave. Just more tolerant. I'll tell you, my big, strong daddy understood me and determined to make a man of me. But I fooled him. All he ever did was make me rich. Because poor old daddy up and died. Oh, well, I enjoy his money. Help me find you. You know, the only brave thing I ever did in my whole life had to do with you. What was that? Football practice at college. You don't remember? You were all alone in a keeper play. I was defensive back. You were heading straight for me. And a little voice inside me said, Willard, let him go. He's going to run right over you. Lordy, Zaffy, I don't know why I tucked and headed straight for you, hit you straight on. Brought you down. It was my finest hour. Hey, Willard. Can you get the door? Yeah, sure. I dropped in, sir. Very clean, huh? Yeah, 27 and 6 to pay. 27 and 6? Now, that's it, sir. It turned out quite nice now. Five, ten. I oh, know, just a one. Oh, just a bit fresh. Is it? Yeah. That's three pounds ten. Well, you'll probably get sticky later on. It usually does when you get this early kind of mist. Does it? Half a crown, that's five pounds, sir. Uh, any more to go, sir? What? Uh, uh, oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Ooh. Miguel? Yeah? Anything to go? No, but tell him to come back next week. No, but come back I got it. Well, goodbye, sir. You're getting pretty domesticated. Well, variety is the spice of life. Did you pay him for that? 27 and 6. Well, uh, they overcharged you. What'd they send me this for? Value for money. That's not mine. You look good and brown. Mariaki. Mariaki? Yeah. You ever heard of him? No. Well, twice last night somebody called me Mariachi. So what? He threatened to kill me. Kill you? It must be some kind of practical joke or something. Well, I didn't laugh. Hello. You're boring me. I hope you'll like your clothes. Oh, Mr. Bigel, what is it? Now, why'd you send me this stuff? Well, because they're yours. No, it isn't. Well, it had your name on it. 
Somebody give you some money to do this, slip you a few bucks. Did what? Somebody slip you a fiver to do this, bribe you? I don't know what you're talking about. I picked that jacket off a rail along with hundred others. But who'd want to bribe me to give you a jacket? Well, it doesn't make sense. Well, I ask you, does it? No, sir. I don't remember who it was. But here's the ticket, and that's the address the jacket was to be delivered to. That is your address, isn't it, sir? Yeah, that's my address. Well, of course somebody wants to kill you. I've had the impulse myself. I must say it'd be better if you were already dead. I'd sense a story in that. Come on, Jarvis, you owe me a couple of favors. I'm not the missing persons bureau. Just ask the research department and your newspaper to look into it. Why don't you ask your old buddies in American intelligence? Yes. You think they may be in on it? June! Let's get out of here. We're never going to get waited on. The impatient American. And there's a very nice little steakhouse just across the street. I loathe steak. Well, have some kidney pie. My dear fellow, you've got a deal. How do you spell mariachi? My first passion was ballet. A prima ballerina, you know? Lessons, lessons, lessons. I was a smash in the leotard. Unfortunately, no talent. And what did you do then? I swapped to painting. Palette knife and plenty of impasto on a, a great big canvas. Still no talent. Well, some people have it, some don't. But then came my social action phase. I marched with banners. What'd they say? That people shouldn't be beastly to each other. I was uh, trying to amuse you. And you did. Have you found out anything about Mariocchi? I spoke to Willard today. He told me he'd been threatened again. He talks a lot. Who's after you? I don't know. Who do you suspect? Everybody. You notice that my name, Moira, sounds like Mariocchi. Practically the same letters in each word. I noticed. Maybe I'm part of some great plot. Perhaps sometime in the deep past, uh, you betrayed my grandfather, who was Tasmanian ambassador to Shangri-La. <laughs> oh, just my luck. I saw you, I talked to you, I decided to make you my career, and this mariocchi thing had to happen. Well, if that hadn't, something else would. Because that's my life. So you better run. What do you think I am? Bone China. It's gonna be too hard for you. I'm stronger than you think.
Hello. Hello. see you too well tonight, boy. You will, Mariocchi. Don't be impatient. We'll kill you at midnight. Soon. Morning, Mr. McGill. Mr. Burnett. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you might have seen anyone going in or out of my apartment. Uh, anyone you didn't know. Well, no. no, I don't think so, Mr. McGill. There was no one hanging around? No. Quite honestly, I don't think there was. There was a milkman, paper boy, deliveries, that and the visitors. Why, is anything missing, Mr. McGill? No, no. Just the opposite. Thank you. Very happy. <laughs> you know, this is unendurable, McGill. I detest movies in the afternoon. I'm sorry. But why all this cloak and dagger stuff? What about Mariaki? According to the research department of my metropolitan newspaper... Come on, come on. Never heard of him. Nothing. Well, he doesn't exist. Not in England, anyway. What about the overseas files? Still checking. Of course, we're nowhere as near as complete on foreign gangsters. Mariocchi may be a solid citizen. Oh, no. This is hood stuff. They're after me for something. <laughs> How are they getting on? Pretty well. Why don't you call in the police? i just delay things more. Well, they might be able to locate your men and put them away for a little while. How long? Yes, you've got a point. Well, the way I look at it, it's got to be some sort of revenge thing, you know, like uh, blackmail or double cross or, or something. It gives me the creeps. Gil, you ought to get out of here. What do you suggest I do? Why don't you come to Hamburg with me? Ah, oh, come on. Hey, it's fashing time. What time? Fashing. It's a kind of fertility right. Plus, 
Carnivals plus drinking. What's the trouble with you, McGill? You insist on facing reality. I, on the other hand, prefer to run away. Willard, what do you know about all this? Nothing. Well, you're pretty anxious to get away. Ah, come on, McGill, will you? I was going to go yesterday, you know? Yesterday didn't seem to matter to you whether you left or not. Well, I'm always gone someplace. Today isn't any different. You know, I left you my key last week, Willard. Yeah. And I gave it back to you just as soon as I got a place of my own. Well, did you give it to anybody else before you gave it back to me? No, I certainly did not. Want to get that? No. Why not? It's just a telephone. I know it's just a telephone. I don't want anybody thinking I'm Mariachi, that's all. Hello. I've missed you, darling. Will I be seeing you? Yes, ma'am, you sure will. Hey, don't go back to your apartment, eh, McGill? Hey, you have a good flight, Willard. Uh, I feel awful, just awful leaving you like this. I don't feel bad. It's, it's my business. Yeah, I know, but... But what? What are you going to do? I'm doing it. Will all passengers for flight 207 to Hamburg assemble now at gate B? Well, you better take off. You're going to miss your plane again. Yeah. <laughs> Wet hands. Good luck, old buddy. Will all passengers for flight 207 to Hamburg assemble now at gate B, please? Please report to the main information desk. Mr. Mariocchi. Yes, of course, sir, as soon as we hear anything. May I help you, sir? Yes, you called for a Mr. Mariachi. Oh, yes, I have something for you, yes. Well, Which Mariachi would that be? How many could there be? Would you sign, please? Do you know who sent this? Afraid not. Could you describe him? Sorry, I'm so busy, I can't even tell you my own name. Excuse me.
Me too. Listen, I'd like you to meet me. My idea exactly. In the park, about an hour. Well, I have to dress. Just come as you are. for outdoor romance. Let's find a fire and just a tea. Listen, I want you to do me a favor. Hmm? Finally. Now, you never heard of mariachi. Of course I have. No, you haven't. Not ever. Now, you understand that? Okay. You never heard of McGill, either. No, oh, no, don't ask that. To. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I've got to go away. I'll come too. No, you stay here. And you go back to painting and dancing. Marching around with cards. That's a good life. That's your life. You enjoy it. I've adopted you. No. Look, I'm... Uh, I'm not afraid. My life's one mariachi after another. You talk about your cruel, cruel life. Truth is, you just don't love me. I'm gonna say goodbye now. Mr. McGill. Yeah, I thought I'd go away for a couple of days, Mr. Burnett. I'll be happy to look into your apartment every day you're gone. No, you don't have to do that. Oh, it's my pleasure. No, thank you. I uh, told a friend of mine he could use it for a couple of days, and I don't want him disturbed. You understand? Yes. What would your friend's name be, Mr. McGill? In case I see him around, just as I know. Mariaki. You ever heard of him? No. I'll oh, put any friend of yours, Mr. McGill. You can trust me. I'll always be as helpful as I can. I'm sure. Thank you. He's not there. That's what you think. But the porter said he'd be gone a day or two. The porter said what he was supposed to say. Well, our boys haven't seen him about the place. He's better than they are. Well, I think he ran for it. We'll see. When? When we're ready. 
I've been ready a long time. Patience, darling. The office asked me to give you this, sir. Oh, you don't have one more. You want a beer? Oh, thank you, sir. Give him a beer. I told you he wasn't home. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. No, I think not. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. It's getting dark. Days are very short this time of the year. Worst climate in the world in this country. That's why the English love to travel. Hungry. Yeah. Tired. Very. It'll soon be over. When? Midnight. 
Oh, look. He's not there, I promise you. He's not there. He's gone away, I'm sure of it. Who went away? The girl went away. Oh! Oh! Now, what must I tell you? His name is Mariocchi, and you pray he didn't go away. You pray he's home, Mariocchi's home. it all about they're gonna do exactly as they said they would well, who are they i don't know oh no look i really don't know i mean and there are two guys and a girl i just don't know their names and there are some others because they telephone each other but i don't know their names you know? where'd they get you the airport yeah they got me at the air no they got me uh earlier than that You put that scarecrow up there, didn't you? And you placed the shoes. Now look, you know, it was really the girl that made me do it. it... What girl? A blonde? Yeah, a blonde. A blonde, that's right. A, a pretty girl. She picked me up a couple of weeks ago, and I made a real idiot of myself. And then she took me to the two guys, and they knew that they could get to you through me, so they... Beat me up in the body so that you oh, couldn't... Break your neck. Well, you're a little late for that, old buddy, you know. Oh, look, McGill, honest to... Look, I tried to help you, you know. I, I tried to tell you and I, I couldn't, you know. And I, I tried to get you to come to Hamburg with me. You remember? I tried to... Get, I tried... You make me sick. Look, I didn't know anything about it being... You know, I thought maybe blackmail at the most, you know. I never dreamt that they were going to kill you. I never wanted to live so much in my life, ever. Where are they now? They're downstairs in the car, some of them. And what are you doing here? I'm supposed to leave this note. Hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, I'm supposed to pin that on the jacket. Hey, Root. Does that mean anything to you? Hey, Root. to be done correctly at midnight. What are you doing, McGill? 
You're not going to just stay and wait for him, are you? Why not? Oh, come on. Why don't we phone the police? The line's dead. They cut it. They cut the line. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Willard, where do you think you're going? They'll blow your head off if you go out there. Help me. Stay right where you are. What are you doing here? Look, a man called up. He told me you'd been badly hurt, that I was to get over here quickly. They're going to kill us all. Oh, shut oh for up. crying out loud, Miguel. Shut up! Every... What are you talking about? The man you just talked to on the phone and some of his friends are trying to kill me. Mariochi? Yeah. Well, tell me. I'd like to know. Well, a long time ago, when I was working for American intelligence, we were cooperating with authorities in Beirut. We were after some dope pushers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, there was some shooting. And I hit one of them. So now I guess he or his friends or buddies, or I don't know, they're after me for revenge, hood style. You killed him? I shot him. And you forgot his name? I never knew his name. Why not? See, there's just a man in the street shooting at me with a gun. They flew me to London the next day. I never found out his name. Life's cheap in your world. That's right. That's terrible. Well, it sure took them a long time to find me. Maybe they couldn't. Maybe some of them in jail or something. Well, now they have found you. Will they kill me too? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they just want you to watch. Why? Because his girl was watching that night. Now get upstairs. Come on. Willard. Oh, come on, Miguel. I want to live too, you know? But it's going to cost you $10,000. <laughs> you don't think my life. Otherwise, I'm going to kick you out of here. Now, what do you say, yes or no? Do you think my life's worth that much? No, I don't. Yes or no? You got yourself a deal. <laughs> Mariaki, are you ready? Yes. You'll be sensible so we don't have to kill your friends. Anything you say. You remember now what you did? Yeah. And who you killed? Yep. And so you will never forget the name Mariaki. Not for as long as you live. I wonder how long that's going to be. Not long.
police are going to be here. Yes, you can. Go out the back way now. Go on. Where did you send me that check? 